Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will discuss the information available in the tabs for the global settings within the Century One client. You can access the global settings by expanding the configuration folder in the navigator pane and double clicking on the global settings node. Once you open up the global settings, you will see five tabs along the left side of the page that pops up. These tabs are the alerting, storage, forecasts, privacy, and advanced. The alerting tab has settings for your SMTP server, SNMP configuration, a place to define a maintenance window for your Century One repository server, and configure an execution account for PowerShell. The storage tab allows you to configure how many days you would like to keep your event history. This is the retention period for the data that is displayed in the event calendar. You can also set the retention period for your performance history. This is the data that is displayed in your blocking SQL, top SQL, and deadlocks tabs within the performance analysis solution. You will also be able to set the retention for your Century One message history, which is the data that is displayed in the actions log. Finally, you will be able to set the retention for the index usage history, which controls the retention of the index usage statistics counter data. Hovering over these options will provide you with more information about these settings. The forecast tab allows you to provide a schedule for when the disk forecasting will take place. There are two options for disk forecasting, standard and advanced. The standard option uses a standard linear regression algorithm, and the advanced option uses more sophisticated algorithms. More information about disk forecasting can be found here. The Privacy tab allows you to view the end user license agreement, as well as send telemetry data to Century One so that we can improve our solutions in the future. Finally, the Advanced tab provides you with the opportunity to change the polling interval thresholds, settings for when event chains are affected, how actions are fired in response to historical data, or triggering the SQL Server agent job block condition. You can also enable the Always On Health collection, set the maximum text length for the query collection, and change the normalization engine from advanced to basic. More information on all of these global settings can be found here. As you can see, Century One provides you with many options to configure, allowing you to set your monitored environment up in the way that you see fit. If you have any questions about this information, or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.centuryone.com. Thanks for watching.